This video is brought to you by underluckystars.com. So Chuck, you know I love me some Van Gogh. This is true, some yes. Vincent Van Gogh, Absolute. and in particular, Starry Night. Absolutely. And I have a copy of it behind my desk. I see it. It is an actual oil painting. Yes, it is. In Wait, fact, so that it, means somebody did that for Yes, yes, that's an actual oil painting. It's actually the original, but don't tell me Okay, all right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so that will it, not be here <laughs> later today. <laughs> you told the wrong person. <laughs> actually, the Museum of Modern Art had a garage sale. Right. I got that it for, for dirt cheap. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, what I like about it is it's clearly not exactly what he saw. Right. Because the sky doesn't really do that right. with the swirls yes. and the yeah. turbulence. But it's no doubt what the sky felt like to him. Mm -hmm. And for me, art at its best captures the emotion of reality rather than the reality. If I want reality, I'll just take a picture. I don't, I don't need you to paint reality. Right. For me. Well, that, no, that makes sense. No, it's like people who say, "I love the Hubble telescope and their pictures." Here's my painting of that Hubble picture. Right. It's like no. Give me the Hubble picture. Right, exactly. All right. Otherwise, give me an interpretation of reality. Right. Then we then we fully tap what the creativity of an artist can bring to the table. Sweet. So I have not only up there, on my second book, I used it for the cover. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah. And, and look, and a nice little plug here too. Uh oh. Universe Down to Earth. <laughs> this is a <laughs> Starry Night. Van Gogh. That is my second book That's that, second I, that book. I ever wrote. Plus, it's also hold on. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. It's, I have an eyeglass case. Wait, I got some gum in it. Wait a minute, here. There we go. My eyeglass case is, is, is Van Gogh. Look at that. No, no. Same I mean, it's a holder. That, yeah, I, it's an eyeglass holder. holder. Not only that, not only that, on, I got some Van Gogh on, on the my, back, of your phone. back of my phone. So I got Van Gogh everywhere in this office, plus you're sitting on one. That's one of the pillows. I ain't gonna reach it, you get it. Okay, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Wow. This is one of my, my, my plush pillows. Nice. And it used to work where you squeeze the moon and then the stars would light up, but somebody sat on it and broke the electronics. Okay. So I, I, gotta, I gotta get back in there. I hope it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> but there's the cypress tree, the sleepy village, the rolling hills, painted in 1889 in June in France. This location is known. I hope so, so. So that's a, actually a real time and a real place. The, that's a crescent moon on the far right. And all evidence tells us that the bright white object with the swirls around it is the planet Venus. Oh. So this is in the early morning before sunrise. So that's the, this, he's really seeing the sky. Yeah, and he's getting some and, of and it. he's getting some of it. Some, some fundamentals, and the rest is his interpretation of it. Okay. And what I like most about this painting, I think it's, I, I could be wrong, but I checked this. Uh -huh. I think it's the first painting ever that was named for what was drawn in the background. Right, because, Think about yeah. it. He could have called it Cypress Tree. Right. He could have called it Study of a Cypress Tree. He could have called it Sleepy Village. He could have called it Church Steeple. Mm -hmm. He could have called it Rolling Hills, which mm -hmm. is in the sort of the mid-ground. Or but he could have called it I Can't Sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he called it The Starry, Starry Night. Night. Yeah. And for me, that was the universe working its way into the artist's vocabulary. Right. So if you know the date and the time, mm -hmm. right, you can know the sky. Yeah. Which is why I was able to get you this. I'm serious. This is your gift. Starry night. This is the actual sky. So it's not an interpretation. Okay, this is the stars in the this, night sky. This is a representation of the stars in the night when sky. When he painted that. When he painted that. Well, thank you. And Starry Night, of course, is the, the title. The of title, it. because it's the sky itself. Well, well, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, this and so because we we can know what the sky is in the past Absolutely. for any time of day and every and all events. Any time day, any event, we can know what it is. And there is a uh, a place that I love called underluckystars.com, uh -huh. uh -huh. and um, people that can appreciate this type of gift, I love to give them. Like for you, it's Starry Night. For my wife, it was the night that we met. It could be the birth of your child. It could be uh, the day you got married. It could be any event that you mm -hmm. want to uh, commemorate by the sky itself being represented for that event. Well, I, I like the sky. 
So I ca- I got a feeling that you do. You know, something tells me you keep looking up for some reason. Oh yeah, that's right. Keep, yeah. I, I, keep, yeah, we keep end every up. show that way. Yeah, exactly. But keep looking up. There we go. Yeah. On my ceiling. Actually, when I was a kid, I had uh, glow in the dark stars on my ceiling. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, now you can actually hang this on the ceiling. No, I'm joking. Don't do that. But no, it's. I mean, I I hope you like it. I'm dead serious. Well, thank you. That's very I, sweet I, of you. I really do. Thank you. You know. And you. um and 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 by the way, if you want it too. You can go to underluckystars.com and do the same for any occasion. It's very simple, very easy, very clean, and it's a great way to let the cosmos be the gift itself. I figured you'd like that. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. (laughs) You can make your own star map by going to underluckystars.com. They've been in business since 2016, making them the first custom star map maker. A star map is a great way to commemorate important events, like when you first met your sweetheart, birthdays, engagements, weddings, and more. Choose a date, customize the title, and select your design. And this is very important for Star Talk fans. The maps have been verified by a NASA astronomer for accuracy, which you can read all about on underluckystars.com. Don't wait. Go to underluckystars.com today and order right away. Be a star and give the stars to your star.